everyone, this is Tamara from ShelfAddiction.com, and welcome to episode 86. Today on Book Chat, I'm talking with Reading Until Dawn Con creator and director Casey Harris Parks. Casey has been reviewing books for the last seven years on book blog Literary Escapism. She also has tons of experience working with publishers and authors. You may recognize Casey as one of the co hosts on the Three Bloggers One Series episodes that are featured here on the Shelf Addiction podcast. The Reading Until Dawn Con links are all listed below in the show notes, so if you'd like to learn more, purchase your ticket or even reach out to Casey you know where to find her if you enjoyed today's episode please like and share it show your support by rating the podcast and leaving a positive review on iTunes the podcast can also be found on the Spreaker app YouTube Google Play Music the Stitcher app and more want to comment on something you hear during today's episode you can leave a comment or you can find me on Twitter at Shelf Addiction if you'd like to email in feedback or questions feel free to reach out to me at info at shelfaddiction.com Hey, Casey, good evening. Thank you for joining me tonight. Good evening. I'm so happy to be here. I'm glad you're here, too. So (laughs) let's talk about what we're here to talk about. And that's your awesome convention that is coming this June. June, June 3rd, Saturday, June 3rd. It's Reading Until Dawn Con, and I am so excited about it. But I might be a little biased. (laughs) (laughs) Well, you know, honestly, I've never been to this con before, and it looks really fun. And it's also in a very cool area. So for those of you that don't know, Casey, tell us where your con is. It's in Denver, because Mm -hmm. Denver is awesome. Mm -hmm. And um, you said it was fun, because Mm -hmm. it is fun. It's all about playing games. We literally play games all day from 10 o'clock in the morning until midnight although at midnight we're building a pillow but that's getting ahead of myself oh so this is not your traditional book convention no 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 um i have gone to several different kinds of conventions and while i love listening to my favorite authors talk and i love going up and talking to them and gushing over their books my favorite memories are when I actually like get to interact and socialize with my favorite authors. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so that's why I created my conference. I wanted to get rid of the barriers, get rid of the tables between the authors and the readers and give them a chance to really play together, get to know each other, socialize and experience one-on-one with the authors, hanging hanging out out together. Yeah. Awesome. So, How do you manage, like, having a group of people hanging out and playing games with authors and yet still kind of keeping that fangirl and fanboying away from, like, you know, the vibe? How do you manage that? Oh, I I mix it all in together because I am a 100% a fangirl. Uh And so when I'm playing games with one of my favorite authors, the first thing they was, oh my God, I love your books. Mm-hmm. And now we're going to go beat the other team at this game. And afterwards, I'm going to tell you how much I love your books even more. Oh, nice. And it, it's this kind of like, oh my God, I'm playing a game with Larissa Ione right now. Let me fangirl and squee and jump up and down. And that gives me more energy to go play the game. Oh, that's awesome. So the authors don't feel like odd about that at all? They they love it? From what I've heard, yes, they love it. They love interacting with their readers. It gives them a new perspective. It gives them a new, you know... I keep I can't think of the word, but they spend so much time behind the table, behind the computer, writing and creating these fictional worlds that they don't really get to go out and interact with their fans mm-hmm. as mm-hmm. much. Mm-hmm. And so this is a way for them to really meet their fans and see their fans as people. If that makes sense. It does. So another one of the things I liked about um, your con is it looks like you have a limited um, amount of space for the attendees, which is cool because it also lends itself for the um, introverted people to have a good time in a smaller, mm-hmm. more, you know, intimate environment. I definitely want to keep it small and intimate just because, you know, with the games, people get crazy, people get rowdy. And I want each reader to get enough face time with every author that they want to meet. And you know, if it's smaller, small crowds, then they do get that face time. And the introverted people are more likely to show up because it's not going to be as big of a crowd mm-hmm. as, say, RWA or RT or some of, or a Comic Con. Like, those 
those are intimidating. I like to keep mine small scale. Mm -hmm. So what's the max number of attendees for your event? Uh, No more than 100 readers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I'm thinking between 25 and 30 authors. Oh, so that's a nice like a three to one ratio. Yeah, that's a really good ratio. I like it. So you guys, so as you're hearing us talk about Casey's con, feel free to reach out to her or me or ask questions below because I know you want to get in since it's only a hundred spaces. So yes, uh, only 100 spaces and they go fast. And one of those are mine already. So you can't have that. So it's 99 <laughs> spaces or less. 99 spaces. Right. Or, or less. less. Yes. <laughs> Awesome. So tell me a little bit about the types of games that you are um, expecting to play. Okay, so I've actually been working on the schedule recently. Some favorites from the first conference, like Are You Smarter Than a Fictional Character mm-hmm. or Wheel of Feels. Wheel of Feels. That sounds very different. <laughs> Wheel it of is. Feels. What is it? So we have a round wheel basically and we write down different things that could happen in a book like you meet your soulmate or the soulmate dies on the first date Mm -hmm. and you write however many there are on the wheel and then you spin it around and whatever it lands on that's whatever the story happens and so as a group you write the story and say once upon a time so and so spin the wheel meets their soulmate Mm-hmm. And then spin the wheel again, the soulmate dies. Oh. <laughs> so there are lots of options for what could happen in the wheel of feels, but oh. you create your fun story that way. So you create your own story and leave the fate up to the wheel. Up to the wheel, yes. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Well, speaking of games, um, you guys, we're doing three bloggers, one series here on the Shelf Addiction podcast, and we're all about Mercy yes. Thompson these days. Yes. <laughs> yes. So I'm thinking we're going to have She's some best, kind of game guys. centered around that. We don't know what exactly, but something. What do you guys want? Do you want a Mercy trivia? Do you want to ask us questions about Mercy? We want to hear what you want. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so if you're going to be there. And you should be. Tell us what kind of game you think you could win at or one that we could lose at. I don't know. <laughs> Which way, I don't know. <laughs> yep. But we're open to suggestions, you know, so send them on over. Use hashtag three bloggers, one series to tell us all about it. So what yes. other stuff do we have going on that day? Um, I know lots of games, a bunch of different variety of games, but do you have so... anything else? Yes, we have a very special, unique kind of signing. I'm calling it the Books and Booze signing, Mm -hmm. and it's Books and Booze. Instead of the traditional authors sitting behind rectangular tables, I'm getting rid of the tables, you guys. I'm getting rid of all the barriers. Mm -hmm. I like it. (laughs) Everybody will be seated around round tables Mm -hmm. with two to three authors per table, and the rest of the space are available for you, the readers, to sit down and talk to your favorite authors. So you know how you were playing a game with Larissa Ione earlier? Now you get to sit down and drink a beer with her and say, Larissa, I love your books. Please tell me what's happening next. Are you doing a spinoff series? I've got to know now. That's amazing. I love that feature. That's really cool because as a reader... You know, we all have our favorite authors and even those like even readers that aspire to be writers, they can really pick everyone's brain and just have a good conversation about whatever, whether it's favorite Mm -hmm. characters or how, you know, steps, what to do to get published. I don't know, whatever it is that you feel like talking about. It's the sky's the limit, right? Whatever you want to talk about, you can sit at that table and talk to those authors and fangirl gush. And you can have them buy, or you can buy their books right there, because we will have booksellers set up. So Mm -hmm. the books are right there, ready for you to buy and to get signed. So if you have a favorite author and you need one of their books, it's right there. If you have a new-to-you author that you just met that day while playing Wheel of Fields, and you're like, I want to read your book, it's there. You can buy it and get it signed Mm -hmm. while you sit down and chat and drink a beer. Mm -hmm. And it's really low-key. It's really fun. And it's only available if you attend the conference. 
It is not open to the public. You cannot buy tickets just for the signing. It's only open to the attendees. Okay. So because it's books and booze, is this 21 and up only? Mm, it's 18 and up. It is 18 and up. Um, I don't know if we had anybody under 21 show up last time, though. Mm -hmm. So it is adult themed. There are lots of adult conversations going on. Kids are not allowed. Okay. I we don't that. want kids walking into Dirty Pictionary. It right. happened. It was awful. Oh, no. <laughs> Scarred for life. Scarred for life. Scarred for life. Yeah, that, that was bad. Well, you know, that's another thing I like about your con is because honestly, I mean, no offense. Don't take any of you guys against young adults <laughs> or the teens, you know, because, you know, sometimes it's overwhelming and I'm the oldest person there. But it's kind of fun, I think, to be with your peers, you know, people your age and still having a good time. Right. Yes, exactly. Exactly. And as adults, we don't play enough. I think we... We don't let our inner child out. Being until Dawn Con is to let your inner child out, to let your fangirl, fanboy out, and just fan over your favorite authors and play games all day and have fun. Mm -hmm. Nice. And you know, the best way to let your inner child out is to have a pillow fight. <laughs> it is. <laughs> and we do that at night, you guys. At night, like 9 o'clock till midnight, we build a giant pillow fort in the ballroom. So it's huge. You can bring whatever you want to this. And we do so many fun games down there. We mm -hmm. do Cards Against Humanity. We color. Last year, somebody did makeup tutorials. We had Dungeons and Dragons. Like We build a pillow fort and we just veg out and have fun. Oh, that's awesome. So with all of that fun going on, we know you don't want to go home at the end of that. So where is everyone nope. staying? <laughs> they can stay right there in the hotel. Yep. Yes, we have rooms blocked right there for you. So you just walk right upstairs at midnight and crash in your bed and sleep. And then the next morning you can get up and go home. You know, we don't what, want it, you driving after all the booze, guys. Exactly, because all the booze and, you know, stuff at the signing, and then I know I'll be drinking vodka tonic or wine <laughs> or champagne or something during the Pillow Fort building activities. We can have a cash bar right there at the Pillow Fort, guys. There will be plenty of booze. Oh, trouble, trouble, trouble. Yes, but that is all fun, and that's why you should stay at the hotel with us. Yes, so much fun. Can you tell us a few of the authors that will be getting drunk with us? Larissa Ione is the MC, and I adore her. I just She's one of my all-time favorite authors, and I have a slightly embarrassing fangirl story I can tell you. but Do tell. Uh, do also... tell. <laughs> okay. So the very first conference I ever went to was in 2012 at RT. And for those of you who don't know, RT stands for the Romantic Times Convention, and it is huge, like over 2,000 people huge. Mm -hmm. So I get there Wednesday morning, like 8 a.m. I'm there at the hotel. I'm wandering around. I'm lost and confused. I somehow end up in an elevator, even though I don't have anywhere to go. Mm -hmm. But I end up in the elevator. And because I'm me, I just stand in the back and wait. Mm -hmm. And... Lo and behold, Larissa Ione walks onto the elevator. And I'm like, oh, my God. This is my favorite author. I love her books. And I'm on the same elevator as her. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> and so I just stand in the corner of the elevator going, oh, my God, it's Larissa Ione. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Like a normal person, she pressed the button for the floor that she wanted to go to. Mm -hmm. And the whole time I was thinking, I've got to say something. I've got to say something. We finally reach her floor and I blurt out, oh my God, Larissa, I really like your books. <laughs> and she turns around and looks at me and goes, oh, thank you so much. And then walks off the elevator. Wow. And then I ride the elevator all the way back down to the lobby going, 
I should have said something else. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay, so I've got to know, how did you transfer from that, you know, starstruck, you know, person <laughs> in the elevator to, hey, we're cool, come and do my book con? Um, really, I just went to a ton of conferences and kind of found my groove of like, oh, my God, I really like you. Mm-hmm. I still scream at some authors, mm-hmm. like fangirl scream, and it happens, and it will definitely happen again at Reading Until Dawn Con. If you want to see me lose my crap over authors, come to my conference. I still do it. I just kind of got better at it, at hiding how my crazy. I hit my crazy completely well at the last con I attended, on a side note. I met an author that I read a ton. Actually, I read met two authors. I read tons and tons of their books, and I totally was low key. I didn't seem crazy at all. <laughs> See, I can't be low key. I just can't do it. I am, I am fangirl crazy. Mm-hmm. Well, that's fun. That's fun too. <laughs> so, okay, who else besides Larissa? Give me a few more that you know. People All right, we have like. Cynthia St. Aubin, who is fabulous and hilarious. She was there at the last conference, and I just love and adore her guts. Catherine Winters and Jeannie Martz were also at the last conference. Rosalind Can, Sarah Heger, and Jenna Lincoln are all coming. And Valerie, I'm going to mispronounce her last name. I'm so sorry, Valerie. Towmbly? Mm -hmm. I think that's how you say it. I'm sorry, Valerie. I love you. Thank you for coming to my conference. But I just, (laughs) I mispronounced your name right there. I'm so excited for all of them to be here. They're excited to come and they want to come and they want to play games and they want to meet their readers and they want to drink beers with you at the books and beers, booze signing. Mm -hmm. I know (laughs) it's books and booze. Yeah. Please be books and booze and not beer because I hate beer. It's books and booze. Booze. I promise it's booze. Okay. So what else would you like the um, listeners to know about Reading Till Dawn Con? It's so much fun, you guys. It's literally just fun. Come Mm -hmm. play games with us. Meet your favorite authors. Fangirl scream. Watch me fangirl scream and be the crazy person in the elevator. Have a drink with your favorite author. Build a pillow fort with us. It's It's literally just a day of fun and letting out your inner child, your inner nerd, your inner fangirl, whatever you want. I seriously love that. And I'm like not even playing because some of these cons I've been to, it's a little stressful, you know, especially um, as a featured blogger. Sometimes it's kind of stressful um, with all of the panels and other things that you were mentioning earlier. So I think this is going to be a really nice change of pace. And hopefully yeah, it's, really chill. It's very chill. There, Like I said, there's no panels. There are no discussions. There's no barrier between you and your favorite author. I can run up and hug Larissa Ion and say, I love you. And she'll actually hug me back because <laughs> I'm not a crazy person. But you can do the same, too. Like, it's fun. Awesome. Well, um, again, this is for 18 years and older. Is that That's a requirement yes. for registration, right? Yes. You have to be 18 years or older. There are less than 100 spots available for you to register. Mm -hmm. And registration for the entire day is only $55. Play games all day. Get into the signing. Get into the pillow forts at night. It's only $55 for the entire day. That's a great price. Yep. It is. It is a fantastic price. So are there food places around? I'm assuming that you're on your own for food, right, during that day? You are on your own for food. Mm -hmm. There is a restaurant in the hotel. There are places within walking distance. Um, There's a ton of restaurants throughout Denver. I don't know how far you want to travel if you want to stay close to the hotel, Mm -hmm. but Denver has a ton of restaurants. Okay. So with your schedule, do you have designated times where people can go off and not feel like they're going to miss anything? We have a designated time for dinner, but not for lunch. Anybody can show up at any point during the day. If you have to take your kids to soccer at 10, but you can show up at noon, there will be games going on at noon for you to play. Okay. Cool. So it's 
fun all day long. Literally, come come, Literally come when you can. Long. All right. Before we wrap things up, is there anything else we need to share with the listeners? Um, I can't think of anything, but I have a prize for you guys. Are you listening? Are you ready? If you share this podcast on whatever social media you have, Twitter, Facebook, Tumblr, I don't know if you could share this to Instagram, but wherever. If you want to share this wherever, let us know where you shared it, and you will be entered to win registration. Yes, I'm giving away one registration to one lucky winner. You get in to Reading Until Dawn Con. You get in to the signing. You get in to the pillow forts at night. Just share this podcast with your friends. Share it on social media. Tell us where you shared it. And at the end of one week, I will pick a winner to wins re- registration. Yeah. So how do they how do they tell you where they shared and how how do they go about that? Comment here. Okay. If you're listening to this on the Spreaker platform, come back to the Spreaker platform and leave a comment with the link to your share. If you're listening to this on the YouTube platform, leave a comment on the YouTube video with the link to where you shared. And that's your entries. That is your entry. Yep. Just one, right? Or can they get more than one? Every time you share it, you get one entry. I have a bonus entry. Oh. For everybody who listens along to Three Bloggers One Series, I want you to find me on Twitter. I'm at Dustmite Bunny. Again, I'm at Dustmite Bunny. And tell me if I am Team Adam or Team Sam, and you will get a bonus entry. Ooh, you guys, tweet at her. Go back and listen to those episodes and tweet. Easy entry. <laughs> Easy entry. I'm very vocal about what team I am on. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. That's an awesome giveaway. If you're local to Denver, you better jump on it. It's down the street jump from you. Jump on it right yes. now, you guys. <laughs> exactly. You better get free entry. Yes, you better do it. That's what I'm talking about. That's great. Thank yes. you, Casey. I know they appreciate that. Come on, guys. Let's play games together and fangirl like crazy people together. Mm-hmm. We can do it, right? Mm-hmm. We can do it. Share it with all your book loving friends if they love books then they need to be here yes share it with your friends share it with anybody who likes larissa share it with anybody who likes books Mm -hmm. share it with people who like to play games right out their inner child right and so larissa so larissa is the mc right yes she is okay so for those of you that don't know larissa i own she writes uh paranormal romance urban fantasy right Mm-hmm. Okay. She wrote so, the Demonica ahead. series. So definitely read at least one book, the first book from that <laughs> series, so that you'll be fangirling as well. A passion, pleasure Unbound. I'm sorry. Pleasure Unbound is book one. Check it out. Yes, it is amazing. Even if you don't like traditional paranormal romance, she's dark and gritty and it's phenomenal. Yay! That's going to be so fun. I can't wait. And I can't wait to meet everyone that comes that's listening to this podcast. So I love meeting people. It's going to be so much fun meeting all of you guys. For sure. Please. Please don't let me fangirl alone. Yes. And guess what? I could. Oh, but don't. don't let me do don't, it. Don't let her. Don't make her do it, please, guys. <laughs> but you know what else? If even if you're not from the Denver area, you should totally share this anyway. And think about coming because guess what? You guys know I'm in Michigan, but I'm flying to Denver for this fun time. Woo! And you should, too. Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. Flights to Denver are fairly cheap, right? Yeah, they're not bad. Get on Frontier or Spirit, you guys. It's all good. <laughs> <laughs> Do it. Do it. Come party with us. Yes, indeed. All right. It's been a blast talking about reading until dawn con. You guys, all of the links are below the registration link, the website link. You can find everything you want to know out by clicking on those links. And of course, you can always reach out to Casey via Twitter or her website. And uh, anything else? Nope. That's it. Awesome. Thank you so much. No problem. Thank you. All right, guys. I'll talk to you later. Take care. Bye. 
Thank you for tuning in and downloading today's episode. If you are enjoying the book chat episodes and would like to show your support, there are a few things you can do. First, you can head on over to iTunes and give a positive five-star review. You can follow me on Twitter at Shelf Addiction. You can follow the Shelf Addiction podcast on Spreaker, the only place where you can listen live and get broadcast notifications so that you never miss a live episode. Most importantly, you can share the podcast with friends and family that love books and audiobooks. Thank you for listening, and until next time, happy reading.